Mm-hmm. Today I want to share a tip with you all, something that I recently discovered while doing my kitchen experiments, my explorations, and that is the wonders of dried black mushrooms. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this is something that I would have seen in the grocery and passed straight because I would always opt to use fresh mushrooms rather than the dried mushrooms in my cooking. But for some strange reason, recently, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what, let me experiment with it and see, you know, what I could do with it. And typically, people would rehydrate them. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the pack. So people would rehydrate them and use them in the stir fries and that kind of thing. But I decided instead of rehydrating it, I wanted to grind it into a powder and incorporate that into my dishes. And let me tell you something, the flavor that you get from this, adding dry mushrooms or mushroom powder into your dishes, sometimes even the simplest of dishes could make all the difference in the world. It is amazing umami flavor. And I mean, if you have something against using MSG, this is a great substitution for MSG. So today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this and also how to incorporate it into simple dishes to add amazing flavor. So let me do this. So the first thing you wanna do is use a knife and break this down into the smallest pieces possible because I'm gonna be using my coffee grinder to grind it into the powder and you definitely don't want to give your coffee grinder too much work. So we have our dry black mushrooms cut up here. And because I already know one of the main questions on this video is going to be, can I do this in a food processor? I'm going to try to do it in the food processor and we're going to see what kind of results we get. I've never done it in the food processor before, only in the coffee grinder. So I'm going to try this and we'll see. So I'm just going to add it in. Okay, so I've been grinding this for the past two, three minutes. And as you can see here, not much change to the mushrooms. So the answer is no. You cannot grind this into a powder in your food processor. I would suggest getting a coffee grinder or a spice grinder. So let's do that instead. So I have the correct tool here, which is the coffee grinder. And we're gonna add the mushrooms in bit by bit and you definitely don't want to overfill this because you don't want to overwork the grinder and we're gonna grind it in portions. All right, so on the first grind, this is the kind of consistency you're gonna get. Don't try to go for finer than this on the first grind. What we're gonna do is grind this off first to get it to this consistency and then we're gonna do a second grind which will give you a fine powder. So don't worry about it. I know it's still looking real grainy here, but that's fine. Just gonna put this in a bowl and we're gonna continue to grind the rest of our mushrooms to this consistency. And then we're gonna do a second grind that's gonna get it to the fine powder stage. So now that we did the first grind, and as you can see here, it's still very grainy. And we don't want that, we want it to be a nice fine powder. So what we're gonna do is give it a second grind and that's going to give the very fine powder consistency that we're going for. So as you can see here, this is the fine powdery texture that I was talking about. And I would say fine like chili baby, but it's actually finer than chili baby. So, we're in a gear here with this consistency. So, I'm just going to grind off the rest. And then, I'm going to show you what you could do with this mushroom powder. Okay, so here we have it, our mushroom powder. And now that we have it, now it's for the important part, how to use it. So, I'm going to show you two ways in which I just use this mushroom powder. But, of course, you don't have to stick to the ways that I show you. It have all kind of applications to this. As I say, this bring great flavor into your dishes, but today I'm just gonna show you two very easy ways that you could use this. So there we go. So one of my favorite ways to use this is in eggs. Simple, but 
truly effective. You just add a little bit of this mushroom powder into these eggs and let me tell you something, transforming your eggs one time. So it's a little bit inside here, about a tablespoon, whisk it up. And as easy as that, you have some mushroom and herb eggs taking breakfast to the next level. And the other way I like to use this is in stir fries and soups, Chinese style or Asian style soups. So I have the mushroom powder here, of course. I have some veggies cut up, some broccoli, ginger, garlic, onion, carrots, and I have some rice noodles here that's already cooked. So I'm gonna make a nice little quick soup. I'm gonna start by stir frying the veggies, a bit of vegetable oil into the wok. Let's add in our veg. Add in some pak choy. Add in a mixture of soy sauce and oyster sauce. Now I want to transfer the veggies back to our bowl. Because this is cooked. And now to make the broth, we add in a little bit of oil into the wok. Add in a couple of tablespoons of the mushroom powder. And I add in the starch water that I boiled the noodles in. Some star anise. I'm gonna give that a little mix. Season it with salt. So going in with a little bit of noodles, some of our veg. So on top like this. And now we're just gonna add our mushroom and aniseed broth all over like so. And boom, there we have it. Our nice little rice noodle and veggie soup with the mushroom and aniseed broth. Mm-hmm, real flavorful. So you see, I'll just show you two ways here that you can use this mushroom powder, but trust and believe it have a whole myriad of ways that you can use it. You could use it with chicken, you could use it in like macaroni pie if you wanted. If you're making a nice little rice pilaf, you could add the mushroom powder to add that real umami flavor to it. The possibility is endless. So the next time you're in the grocery and you see the dried mushrooms, don't pass it straight. Take up a bag or two, grind it up, make your mushroom powder, and go wild with the experiments. I would love to see what crazy ideas all I come up with. So if you do try it, post your photos on social media, tag us in it, would love to see it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.